What's going on, y'all? I am en route to go pick up my order from Walgreens. Somebody in one of my fragrance groups was talking about how they were able to get like super duper good deals. So I fooled around with the app settings and was able to find a few stores nearby where I could just pick up a few things. One of those things being a fragrance that everybody has been talking about. I think I got it for a somewhat decent price and I got 20% off of my total order. So it made sense to me to just go ahead and pick them up in store. I'm gonna let y'all know what I got and we're gonna get into that thing and talk about it. You know what I mean? Like they were fragrances that I wouldn't have bought full price, uh, full retail for. So it just made sense to me to keep an eye out for the discount. One of them I got the larger size and then one of them I got a smaller size and paid the same amount for um, one ounce what I paid for 3.4 ounces. Oh, and I did something I told y'all I wouldn't do, that I was not going to do, but I did it. So, we'll talk about that soon, too. By the way, today's scent of the day, I did a light layer. I pulled out Mancera's Drop Wase, and then I layered it with Your Own Cologne. Dope combination. I honestly did not think that the... Mancera Sadrap was it was going to perform the way that it is performing um, partially because it, it hasn't performed well on my skin because I personally feel like that's one of my weakest performing Mancera fragrances it smells good but it does not project and to me it does not last but I've heard other people tell me that they can smell it on me so maybe I just go anosmic to it with this combination that I'm telling you about you get that very fresh clean woody somewhat sweet fruity nuance to it that I've never smelled anything like it. The two mixed together are a winner. And I'm usually not a big fan of, you know, hybridizing or layering fragrances. It's just for me that sometimes it can disrupt the scent profile of one or the other. So I tried it. And quite frankly, since I'm working more remote, I have more time and energy to just play around with a few things without being too concerned about how it's perceived and, and uh, where I'm wearing it to and if it's worth where I'm going to wear it to. Um, that's another thing that's just been a little bit more challenging for me since I've been working more remote. I don't have the ride alongs like I used to. I don't know if y'all are missing those or not, but I haven't been doing many of those because, I mean, if I'm not headed to a trip. <laughs> Or I'm not headed to a store. It's like, what am I doing? You know what I mean? Like, or to the gym. Um, so I've been not doing ride alongs as much. So if you're feeling that and you're missing those ride alongs, let me know. Cause then what I'll just have to do is I'll just have to start filming on whatever trip we're going on and like do a day in the life, a little vloggy vlog type of situation with a little bit of the oot to do. <laughs> I learned that from this vlogger. Uh, that I recently just started watching. I can't remember his name right now, but he calls his outfit of the day because we also always say O O O O T D. He calls it the Utudu. Um, outfit of the day: sweatshirt by 3D Designs, yours truly. Scully by yours truly, 3D Designs, and just some plain joggers and my Crocs, giving homage to the Boricuas, the Morenas in Puerto Rico. I'm just it's a semi nice day today. So you know I'm dedicated to creating content. I didn't. I haven't even eaten lunch, and I'm out here in these streets creating content. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so we finally at Rose arrived, and we're gonna pick up this order. But I just realized it told me to let them know that I was here outside picking up the order. But here's the thing: I still gotta go in here and get something. So <sighs> that was an epic fail. But we still gonna make it out. Okay, so we got our order picked up. We got some stuff we had no business getting, but well, that's okay. Um, <laughs> we are back in action, headed home. Lucky, this was not that bad of a trip. I'm not that mad at that, actually. My pants are falling down. I guess good problems to have, right? <laughs> but I'm trying to carry my bag I'm trying to vlog and walk at the same time it's challenging okay y'all want to see what we got bam Ralph's Club Ariana Grande Cloud 
Now, I know the girlies and the kids in the community say that's a BR540 dupe. I mean, it was one of the only things that was actually available for me to get to make my order be 20% off. I got both of those fragrances for 65 bucks. I think that's pretty good, um, especially seeing as though I didn't have to pay shipping and handling none of that business. So, um, 3.4 ounce of the Rouse Club. I've smelled it before. I liked it, but it was never full price worthy. It being $35 clearance, I'm with it. The one ounce of Ariana Grande Cloud is more than enough for me. That's my fragrance pickups of today. I, I made a repurchase, so I'm running low on my Dior Sauvage Eau de, Eau de Toilette. And I said I was not going to repurchase it because I'd already purchased Dior Sauvage Elixir. I had to be real with myself. I enjoy the scent of Sauvage regardless to any reformulations or anything like that. So I went ahead and repurchased Dior Sauvage 3.4 direct from Dior. Now, I'm aware that I could have gotten that probably cheaper for the gray market. However, one of my credit card issues, American Express hit me up and was like, we have a Dior offer. Every dollar you spend you get 20 miles back so i'm a traveler and i have the delta sky miles platinum 20 miles for each dollar spent so that's almost like 2500 miles for something i was gonna do anyway so these are just some different ways that you can enjoy your fragrance journey purchase fragrances etc and still make it make sense for you nobody's saying you have to always buy full retail and one of the things that i do when i purchase fragrances or when i purchase anything over like 150 bucks on my american express i'll purchase it on the card so i'll make a payment same day like i'm just gonna use or for what i call funnel my purchase through the american express network for payment but i'm gonna pay that bill right there i don't carry balances on smaller things like fragrance purchases and stuff like that i'll carry a balance if i've already purchased like a rental car or i'm paying for my airbnb i'll carry a balance every now and again for that but not not often and then for my business card i don't have the luxury of carrying the balance because that bad boy will let you charge it but you guarantee you pay you paying that full price the next month. I just paid a $2,000 plus bill with them. So from traveling and stuff like that, I just had to make sure I have to be responsible with, with my finances. And that's something that I've learned over time. Nobody's going to do this thing for you. So as much as a collector I am, and as much as a fragrance enthusiast and fashion enthusiast I am, I'm a responsible when I pay my bills. And on top of that, I bring financial literacy to my situation. So if you want to know more about that, let the kid know. All right, bye.